Hi there, my name is Oded Sharon, and when I'm not pretending to play the piano, I make games. Hey everyone, um, first of all, thank you, thank you very much. Last time I did this video update, a few days ago, we had only 100 backers, now we're, we have about 420, yes, 420 backers. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you personally for, you know, backing the project, for uh, supporting, for uh, being active in the comment section. There's this group of, uh, of backers, the um, Adventure Game Revival Movement, and a group of them are, are really, really, really making me happy. I'm like reading the comments and, and um, talking to them. Um, I consider myself one of these, you know, one of these backers, one of these, you know, folks. I've been going around from, uh, from project to project, from Adventure Game Project, and, and backing all of them. And I know a lot of the, uh, the other campaign owners uh, or a friend of mine. And, I really appreciate the uh, the amount of love I'm getting and and all the um, all the word uh, like you know people spreading the word around about the campaign and I, I really 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 uh, appreciate it and thank you uh, thank you for that. Um, in this update, um, I wanted to talk a bit about the story of the game and chapters. Um, I'll probably uh, talk more uh, in length in in uh, other video updates and you can read everything I also wrote in the uh, text. Uh, of this update, if you um, if you want to read some more details, and of course, you know, ask me questions, uh, post in a comment uh, in the comment section, or you know, just write me a message. Um, so basically, the idea behind chapters is making adventure games is or any game is is really expensive. Um, when we thought about Bolt Riley, uh, we thought about we wanted to make a game. That's that has a budget of about one one uh, one point one million dollars, um, and we started fundraising and managed to you know gradually get uh, a bit of the funding. We we got about three hundred thousand uh, dollars in funding, and we were fundraising um, when we were uh, producing the game. Uh, and we decided it might be simpler to actually split the game into three individual chapters and produce each one uh, independently. And what we did is um, we had a bunch of designers working on this game, and we were we did something that's sort of similar to what you see in television shows. Um, they have a writer room and they have like um, um, meetings. Uh, where they, you know, discuss ideas and, and throw off um, um, suggestions for episodes, and then um, each writer is being tasked with the writing of the specific episodes, and they, you know, they go uh, write that episode. But the, still, the, like the show creator and the um, the, the entire uh, season of the series is being um, is being uh, you know supervised and, and created. Pretty much by everybody at the uh, at the show. So that's pretty much what we did here with the game. Uh, we had three different um, three different parts of this big uh, big story, and each tells its own unique story. So chapter one, who um, was written by Daron, uh, basically tells the beginning of the story of how Bolt uh, starts his life as a poor boy from uh, from Trenchtown, Jamaica, and he's in this uh, root boy gang. And now he um, he has to do some stuff for the uh, the gang leader uh, who sends him to steal a radio. And then um, there's the, all the story of how he discovers reggae music and and decides to live uh, the life of crime. Uh, the second chapter basically now is like this life is behind him. Um, and this is the chapter that was mostly written by Laurie and Corey Cole. Um, and in this chapter, Bolt has to find um, find ben, ben members. Um, his friend Smokey uh, joins him, and then he has to find the, the, like a drummer and a, and a bass player. Um, and he has to find instruments for them. He has to find like a guitar and drums, and and um, then he needs to get inspired and find material materials to use uh, in his song. So. He goes around the island and, and interacts with stuff. He looks at stuff and finds uh, finds in, his inspiration. Um, and in the chapter, the third chapter, um, the band now you know 
they're, they're a band, they have some songs, and they go to this recording studio, which is, uh, which is an ice cream, uh, it's, it's behind the same owner of an ice cream store. Um, and it's, it's, by the way, it's one of the rewards that you can get. This uh, ice cream store has a lot of records um, on it, and backers can, can um, choose to pledge a reward that they can get their name, um, their name, some description, or, or maybe even uh, we, when you click that, you'll see the, uh, the image of the, um, of the backers, part of the uh, record. Um, so, so each of these individual stories in, in the chapters have its own unique story with like a beginning, middle, and end, and each of the chapters have this you know, very uh, climatic ending that, that also ends with, with like no cliffhangers and is complete. Um, and all the designers were involved in all, like designing all the three chapters. In fact, I, I, I asked the other designers to take a look at the uh, first chapter while we're doing it, you know, make improvements. Um, but it was, it was um, important to us to split the work into three parts and then each designer could focus on like writing dialogues or implementing the puzzles directly into our engines. Um, we made we made the um, the uh, framework over Unity in such a way that it's easier for the designers themselves to code parts of the game, and you don't need to like, go through a programmer for that. Um, so so that's basically the idea of chapters, and the reason um, the reason uh, we're going with with you know chapter one to Kickstarter is because we thought you know asking for one million dollars is a lot on Kickstarter. And we had we would have had better chances, you know, asking for 100k. And if there's a lot of support and interest, people would, you know, um, a lot of people would um, uh, pledge and back um, and get, you know, get this project funded way beyond this goal. We we've seen already uh, like Kickstarter projects that that managed to fundraise a lot beyond their goal. But then what happened is that some of these campaigns either did not have any plan for what's happening when they fundraise a lot. Um, and you see on, on the opposite end some uh, Kickstarter campaigns that didn't have any team or, or the story wasn't ready yet or their, their uh, design and budget wasn't really planned um, in advance. Uh, and the difference in this campaign as opposed to like other Kickstarter campaigns for adventure games you've seen there that this is actually a game that's almost complete or at least the first chapter of is almost complete. You can literally play through the entire uh, first chapter of the game from start to end. There's, of course, you know, stuff we still need to uh, finish programming. Uh, it doesn't have any voices yet. It doesn't have any music yet. Uh, it still needs to go through, a, through an alpha testing period and a beta testing period. And we always can, you know, improve and, you know, edit the text a bit or change the puzzles a bit to be more nice and more, you know, uh, more fun. But basically, the first chapter of the game is mostly produced. We don't have to make any new art. We don't have to make any new animations. Um, and this puts us, puts us I think, uh, as far as uh, fulfillment and delivery for this project, somewhere way better than you'd seen in other uh, Kickstarter campaigns. Um, and that's why we, we decided, OK, we're going to fundraise for this chapter and you know set, set chapter 2 and chapter 3 as uh, stretch goals. But just for you know, most of chapter two is already uh, coded into our framework. Uh, most of the backgrounds for chapter two are already uh, made, and some of the animations for chapter two are made. But we need to uh, have a lot of more work in um, in chapter two, and also you know you need to take into account stuff like the fact that um, a lot of the money from the campaign goes to reward fulfillment, to taxes, to fees like Kickstarter and Amazon takes their cut. So. That also um, stuff we thought about in advance where we uh, uh, did this Kickstarter campaign. Um, anyway, we need to still get to a lot more people um, to back this project. 420 backers is nice and everything, but we need about 3,000 of them um, to back this project for it to be a success. So again, thank you very much for everybody, everybody who uh, supported this project so far and. Uh, I'm hoping to see a lot more people soon, so it's up to you to, you know, get your friends back this too, and, you know, spread the word, and share this, and, and tell everybody you know, and together we can, we can, we can make it, and, and succeed with this campaign. So again, 
thank you and um, be uh, keep your eye for the next updates. So I'm going to have some uh, some announcement about like the voice acting, and I'm also going to do a, um, a video update where I play uh, portions of the game. So stay tuned. Bye bye.